Starting lineups beginning with the Eagles. Starting at guard number two, Layla Walker. Starting forward, Richard Green, Natasha Runaway. Starting forward, number five, Vanessa Thurma. Starting guard number ten, Kayla Kamegamela. And starting forward, number 23, Jordan Griffin. And then the only university, Tony Nakamura, the assistant coaches of Michael Randall, Kamal Smalley. And now, basketball fans, it is time to meet tonight's starting lineup for your SMU Ripley. Starting at guard from Langley, D.C., number two, McKenna Gordon. Starting at guard from Langley, D.C., Welcome everybody to the West Gym atop Burnaby Mountain. It is a Tuesday night to non-conference action. The Simon Fraser Red Leafs women's basketball team. And basketball fans, of course, locally, what a time to tune in on this broadcast. I'm Howard Timura. Thanks for joining us in the marquee attraction. The Simon Fraser women's basketball team winning seven straight games coming into this contest. Uh, a win tonight would be their best since 2017. It is a terrific time to 
watch these terrific Red Leafs come together, find their chemistry, a veteran-laden lineup led by the Wazotsky sisters, uh, Grace Killens and Gemma Cutler. A fantastic uh, third-year player as well, McKenna Gardner, number three. What a lift in her game this season. She wears number two. They will play the Biola Eagles of Los Angeles here. They're three and three on the season. It should be a terrific game, and a shout-out to everyone in the L.A. area watching the Eagles and across the United States and around the world, a real international roster reflected by the Biola Eagles from Los Angeles. It'll be a fun contest. The opening tip already in the air, and we're underway as uh, Leila Walker with the basketball. Quickly, she goes to Radovich. Undersized in the post, finds a way to make it work, and Nataza Radovich out of Montenegro able to open the scoring for the Eagles. Great take to the hoop there, just off the mark. Gemma Cutler, St. Thomas Aquinas grad out of North Vancouver. And we'll talk about the uh, way she has protected the paint as well as been that force on the boards and scoring all season for these Red Leafs who come into this game with a seven and three record. Yeah, they lost their first three. They've won seven straight. And just coming off a couple of wins on the road over the weekend, which we'll get into as well. Shot clock down a six as Radovich into the paint. This time can't get the roll as Cutler uh, sticks to her like glue down low. Gemma coming in here averaging 7.7 rebounds per game as well as 3.4 blocks per game. So some big numbers in the grab and stop department from number 11. And she's got the ball right now at half court quickly to Jessica Wazowski, the younger sister, Sophia Baseline. Back up top to Jess. Wazowski curls under looking for Cutler out of bounds and a turnover there. So Simon Fraser still scoreless in this contest. Seven and three overall. They are one and three at home this season. They won that game last week. That shot there hoisted by a number two Walker off the mark. Here comes Gardner. Kenna Gardner jump stop the pivot to the three in the corner. Sophia unable to get it. McKenna Gardner tips it to Sophia Wazowski. New shot clock here. Into the paint. A nice dish underneath the Gemma Cutler. And that's what a quality point guard is going to do in those half-court situations. Sophia leading the way. And Gemma going to the basket. Some great chemistry there. Ties this game at two. Underneath Radovich. They move the ball around through number five, Thurman. And the jump shot put up there by number 23. That's uh, Jordan Rabby. Home run ball down the court. Simon Fraser trying to push the tempo. Two turnovers. They're on those quick hitters down the floor in the early going here. This uh, Biola team will also get a chance to make their trip through the GNAC uh, worthwhile. They're going to play the Western Washington Vikings in Bellingham as well, so part of a double dip here for the Eagles. Turnaround move in the post. Gemma stands her ground, and Je Jessa Thurman out of Valley Glen, uh, California, unable to make that shot fall. Sophia thought about a three instead down to Sister Jessica. Attacking in the paint right to the window. Can't get that to go. Gemma underneath. Cutler misses but gets the tip to Gardner. Natalie Charity, the youngster from the UK with the basketball. Quickly now she'll get it back. Charity cross court. Sets it up to Jessica Wazowski. Give her the dime on that one because Jess isn't going to miss from there. Wazowski knocks down the shot. It's a triple. And make that 5-2 to two now for Simon Fraser. Wazowski uh, coming into the game shooting 31% from beyond the arc. She's a high-volume three-point shooter as well. Rabi underneath, all alone. Nobody to guard Thurman. And Jessa Thurman will lay it up and in. So the Eagles stop the 5-0 run. Charity quickly inside, dishing and looking for Cutler. Simon Fraser showing what she can do with that athletic mobile post as Cutler is. She's gonna get a ton of opportunities moving without the ball and you saw another one there. Here's Sophia Wazotsky. It's gonna get called for the travel. 
Played some catch on the perimeter there with McKenna Gardner and then decided to attack and the referee electing to call the travel call there. So we'll turn it over. So a, a number of turnovers here in the early goings is the super sub, the sixth person. Grace Killens now getting set to check into the game. Camella Mella with the basketball at the very top of the arc. Turn over the other way as well. So Killens will come in, Sophia Wazotsky will come out. Simon Fraser, the one point lead here. Playing by the quarters here. Four minutes in. Wide open for Jess Wazowski off the mark there. Rebound ripped out of the sky by the Eagles, Radovich. That's Rabi. Jordan with a drive into the paint. Cutler cuts her off there. Walker wants the shooter's roll, doesn't get it. Teeters off the back iron and out for the head coach, Alan Nakamura, now in his ninth season. At the helm, the reverse is going to go at Jessica Wazowski. What a player she has become in her senior season with the Red Leafs, and you see everything about her that works, the athleticism, the anticipation, the wingspan, and the ability to score underneath the basket with that nice reverse. So Wazotsky now with, has she got all seven of the points here? She hit three, I think she's got all seven of them. Of course, coming into the game is one of the top scorers in all of Division II basketball, one of the top players in Division II basketball the past three seasons. This season averaging 19.8 points per game, five rebounds per game. What doesn't she do? And she logs the workmanlike 34.4 minutes per game. Alexander, number 15, they'll kick it back out. That one in and out, just off the mark from Camilla Mella. Here's Jess Wazowski in the half court, stripped away. And a nice job there defensively by Alexander. She'll lead Rabi right down the floor, and Jordan Rabi able to lay it up and in. So a fast break bucket for the Eagles, makes it seven to six. Down to 440 remaining opening quarter of play. Howard Samura here from the West Gym. Aiden Doherty, our producer, once more, ably getting us on the air and streaming, and a great job underneath by Gemma Cutler. She'll lay it up and in. Simon Fraser pushes the lead. We also want to thank uh, Sebastian Chu and Bailey Bjorns and our camera people, our camera operators in the gym today for all the views you're getting of the West Gym. Nice work underneath the basket there. Jordan Rabby with another basket. The Spokane, Washington native, a transfer to Northwest Christian, I believe, out of Eugene, Oregon. Grace Killens for three. That's her money ball, but uh, just off the mark there for number one. Simon Fraser disruptive on the baseline, but Biola doing a good job to move. We told you Biola's played six games. Simon Fraser has played ten. And this will be Biola's seventh game. They're three and three on the season. They're coming off a ten-point overtime loss. So they expended the energy to send the game to overtime. Couldn't uh, keep it going in the OT session. Ended up losing by double figures, but uh, resilient there to get the game into overtime and wanting to keep that good mojo going here across the border. And that's going to be Armand Dulay, the 5'9 guard, the junior out of Panorama Ridge Secondary, playing for the Thunder. She'll come in after this timeout. 9'8 Simon Fraser. And we thank our minor officials for the box score. Great to get some numbers to this game. Simon Fraser has come out shooting 4 of 11 from the field. They're 1 of 4 from beyond the arc. Gemma Cutler with 4 points. And Jessica Wazowski with 5. My mistake, Wiz didn't have all 7. She's got 5 of the first 9. Gemma and Jessica with the combined total points for Simon Fraser. Other side of the ledger, 40% from the uh, field for... Biola, they're 0 of 2 from beyond the arc. Haven't gone to the, neither team has gone to the free throw line yet. The leading scorer will be Jordan Rabi with four points. She's 2 of 3 from the field. 1 of 2 each from the field for two points. Natasha Radovich and Jessa Thurman. And that's the, uh, that's the breakdown here early in this game from Simon Fraser University. 
And as we say, when all of our U.S. visitors are here, out from outside the GNAC conference, uh, if you're not if you're not aware, Simon Fraser, the only non-U.S. team in all of NCAA, NCAA athletics. We mentioned to you as well that Armand Dulay, number 21, had checked into the game. Also, looks like Rachel Lukes is out there as well, number 12, the pure freshman from Colichite Secondary in Prince George. The action right in front of our broadcast location. And a takeaway here from Simon Fraser. This Simon Fraser bench especially animated. There's Killens for three. She drops the bomb, but it doesn't go. Just off the mark there. Laila Walker. Little handoff pass there to Elena Cabrera. Cabrera, well, actually number 25, Goldsmith. J.C. Goldsmith, a 6'3 freshman. Out of Valleyford, Washington, and Freeman High School in for the layup there. It's a one-point lead. A 10-9 now for Biola. They get the ball back, and here they come. Rabi for three. Bingo, she drains it. She switches it. And that is the biggest lead of the game for Biola. They've come out of nowhere here with some determined play. And very quickly, the veteran Sofia Wazowski off the bench for Simon Fraser to check in at the next stoppage. Also going to get a chance to see for the first time Ryland Quirk, the freshman out of Gresham, Oregon, Sam Barlow High School. She will wear number 32 for the Red Leafs. Simon Fraser coming up empty there. 2.27 left in this opening quarter. And Biola flexing some muscle here against the home team, riding a seven-game win streak. Getting hot in the preseason after those three losses right here. Dulay sweeps in to get that steal. Quickly feeds Rachel Lukes. Lukes goes to the wing, pulling up for three just off the mark. Gemma battling hard underneath. Cutler couldn't get the rebound on the miss by Wazowski in transition. Simon Fraser wants to push it. They want to dictate the tempo here, but Biola finding a way to grind it out in the half court here and finding ways to score the basketball. Attacking move there from number 15, uh, uh, Tracera Alexander from Corona Del Mar, California. And that foul being called against Rachel Lukes, a block there underneath as the Biola player uh, Alexander, the 5'9 redshirt sophomore guard, uh, had the advantage there, played it and nice and aggressive to get to the stripe. So a chance to build this lead to as many as six with two makes. First one is good. Coach Nakamura of the Eagles uh, has played a number of players already. I believe with uh, nine different players on the floor already. Both of those are going to go, and that's a six-point lead. Simon Fraser needs to play with a bit of an edge here for the final two minutes of play. If they want to go into that second quarter with a, a better feeling of what's happening here. Here's Sophia off the feed from inside. She goes in hard, and the foul will come from behind. Laila Walker will reach in and get called for the foul there. Biola playing great team defense in the half court. They're collapsing with precision down low. And they're taking away easy stuff from Simon Fraser just underneath the basket. Sophia with a miss on the first. Wazowski, the younger, wearing number five, averaging over 14 points per game. So the sisters certainly bringing the offensive punch, and they have had some terrific, terrific uh, outings together, as we've documented right here on the broadcast this season. Here's Quirk playing some good defense on the baseline. And Jordan was at, uh, rather, Tracera Alexander running out of the real estate. Here's Luke's feeding Killens. Little hesitation down low. Uh, nice defensive block there from Goldsmith is going to free Alexander to get down the floor. Tresara Alexander. That one though, right over our heads. And a turnover there. Eagles playing a little bit uh, excitedly, shall we say. Here's Dulay. Just going to put it on the floor. Put up a short little shot in Armand Dulay. The creator off the dribble. Nice to see that from Armand Dulay. And she cuts it to a one possession lead here in the final 47 seconds of the opening quarter. Good Sophia Wazowski there. Working hard with her hands. Is she going to get called for a foul there? 
Indeed, Wazotsky getting called for the foul. Her first. Walker trying to break down the Red Leafs off the dribble and said kicks it out in an air ball there from Alexander who got the kick back and missed with a three point opportunity. Biola has brought their game from the City of Angels here tonight. They are hanging tough with a Simon Fraser team riding a seven game win streak. Ooh, and that's a mugging down low as Alexander drapes her arms all over the freshman Lukes. Coming into the game now will once again be Jordan Rabby. She will be uh, spelling Radovich there and as well number 12 Alyssa Kubo coming in for uh, Elena Cabrera number 24 is Luke's now at the free throw line. Simon Fraser missing a few of them here from the stripe in the early going. Luke's readjusts her focus and makes the second with 20.6. It's a two point game. Here comes Walker. Biola will play for the last shot here. Nine seconds remaining in the quarter. High screen from Rabi for Walker. She gets it back out to Jordan Rabi. Rabi being hounded by Sofia Wazowski. Lukes puts it up good if it goes. It's going to be well short here at the end of the quarter. So the Biola Eagles come uh, soaring into the West Gym. We get off to a bit of a slow start, but, the, but they uh, put a nice little run together, and they have a 15-13 lead over the Simon Fraser Red Leafs. The entire starting group uh, will be set to check in for Simon Fraser to start the second quarter. We'll take a short break here. Be back with the start of the second quarter and more from the West Gym in just a moment. And the horn, as usual, will bring us back to live action here as we get set to start the second quarter. 15-13 Biola over Simon Fraser. And Simon Fraser finishing the second of uh, the first quarter uh, on a bit of a shooting drought. One of their last five from the field. And they're shooting uh, one of six from beyond the arc. 31.3% on the game. Meanwhile, Biola keeping it going. Six of 13, and they are shooting 46% from the field. They have a two-point lead, but Simon Fraser... Trailing, have the basketball. Sophia Wazotsky, back to Natalie Charity. Gemma back to Charity. She's going to skip it on the wing. Cutler, the nice feed inside to Gemma. And Cutler lays it up and in to tie this game to start the second quarter of play. A lot of ball movement there in that half-court set and Cutler touches, the, rather, uh, McKenna touches the ball, McKenna Gardner number two, and as soon as that happens, Cutler is cutting to the basket, looking for that lob. And it is a money pass, and she lays it up and in for the tie, 15-15. Get a stop, and here they are right back down, looking now to take back the lead. Simon Fraser led by as many as three. Biola, biggest lead at six. Here's Sophia all alone, tees it up, can't get it. Gemma out of her range. What a huge rebound that was. McKenna Gardner missing the follow and boxed out well there uh, by number 15, uh, Alexander. Alexander dishes to the baseline corner. And Alyssa Kubo 
from Hacienda Heights, California, and the transfer from Cal Poly Pomona will knock down a triple to make it 18-15. Biola showing some depth in their shooting off the bench for head coach Alan Nakamura. There will turn the ball over, and I think Charity might have stepped on the end line there. Either way, it will be Biola basketball inbounding from, be, uh, from underneath her own basket. It'll be Nataza Radovic, as we mentioned, uh, from Montenegro. And she's in a tra transfer of Ottawa Christian University. And I believe that would be Ottawa, Kansas. In the post, guarded by Wazotsky, one-on-one. Is the scoop going to go? It does indeed. What a move there. Off the hip from Radovic. Outsized underneath by four inches, but able to score it against Wazowski in the post. So five-point lead, one off the largest of the night for this determined Biola squad. Simon Fraser getting ball movement, getting a lot of things happening. They're just not shooting it well here in the early go. And here's Charity. She averaging just under a point a game here, unable to get that one to fall. Walker. Back up top she goes, they'll move it around in the half court. Rabi went to the hoop. I don't know if that, that maybe, <laughs> I think I heard some contact underneath there. Coach Nakamura wondering about that one, but Wazotsky at the other end decides, hey, I'm just gonna knock this shot down. And that's a much needed triple right now, makes it a two point game. The second triple of the game now for Jessica Wazotsky. And that's a big one for Simon Fraser. So Jay Wiz with a big triple. Now with eight points in the game. Grace Killens now into the game. Simon Fraser in the half court trying to weave their magic here. And they'll move it around. Killens now with the basketball. Shot clock is down to 12. Corner shot to McKenna Gardner. Oh, in and out. Unlucky for McKenna Gardner, who's really up that three-point average this season. Had a good look at it. Swirled in and out of the cylinder. Keeps it at a two-point game. Radovich underneath to Thurman. And that shot is going to fall. Nothing flashy at all about this Biola team except they just know how to make buckets. Build the lead back to four, 22-18. Corner they go, whiz for her, the three. As we say, Simon Fraser not in the rhythm of their best shooting performances this season. And when that happens, uh, look out, they become a completely different team. Getting that nice look in the baseline corner. A couple misses in a row near for, from downtown for SFU. Walker guarded by Gardner back up top to Radovich. That high arcing shot of Radovich is, you can tell she puts in the time in the gym with those blind hook shots and loves to go in and use her physicality in the block. Despite the fact she's uh, oftentimes undersized, she's getting it done here today. Here's Killens back up top to Jessica Wazotsky. Killens the sweep inside and McKenna Gardner to Cutler inside, a miss again, and here's Walker. Little hesitation dribble, fading from the basket and getting a tough shot to fall is Laila Walker. Margin back up to the largest of the game of six for Biola. And that, that defense of theirs, aggressive not allowing anything easy, and look at what it yields, another 
Loose ball, a tip and a trip down the floor for Walker, who's going to lay it up and in, almost lost that opportunity, but got it to go at the midway mark of the second quarter. All Biola. They own the tempo of this game right now. Gardner would love to change that. Instead, they go in a game. There's like a trap door in the basket right now for Simon Fraser. And Biola, relentless. They keep coming at you. Inside, some nice interior defense from the Red Leafs there. And a timeout called on the floor. Simon Fraser's leading scorer is coming into this game. Of course, Jessica Wazotsky leading the way at 19.8 points per game. Uh, little sister Sophia, 14.1 uh, points per game. And Gemma Cutler, third at 13.7. They've also got double figures off the bench from Grace Killens at 11.7 points per game. Those are the four leading scorers. And Simon Fraser has had some terrific results of late as we've talked about obviously over the course of a seven game winning streak that's going to happen. And one of the uh, one of the exciting ones to talk about was the 74-63 win uh, over uh, Cal Irvine That was the game where Grace Killens, in 21 minutes, scored 23 points off the bench, in, including four of five from beyond the arc, five of six overall, and nine of 10 from the free throw line. She also had five rebounds uh, and a steal in that game. So what, a, what an effort there. Leading scorers uh, in that game as well uh, for Jessica Wazowski and Gemma Cutler, each with 18. Just a little bit of a sample of some of the great things Simon Fraser has been about since their win last week over Minnesota Moorhead right here. We had that game for you right here on Red Leafs TV. Coming out of the timeout, shot clock is down to three now, and it's hoist time, and it's not going to go uh, for the Eagles' Camilla Mella. But they get it back. Killens is going to get the steal, though. Grace lowers the shoulder, and we'll see how they call this. It's going to be a foul against Biola. That's a veteran move by the senior Killens. Leans a shoulder and gets into her defensive check there and just manufactures the two free throw trips. She was at a tough angle to score. Killens, an 89% free throw shooter coming into this game is going to nail them both and now it's down to a two possession game at 26 to 20. Simon Fraser though, got to find a way. You, you look at the players on the floor and you don't think there's going to be mismatches inside but look at this Biola team inside, very resourceful that time they do get stopped. Simon Fraser though, just Got to get their focus together here in terms of their sharpness with the basketball. Ar Armand Dulay, number 21 in for McKenna Gardner. A lot of turnovers. Here's Sophia with the basketball at the very top of the arc. Trying to skip it inside and Dulay can't squeeze that one, and again, another turnover, and Simon Fraser forced to play some defense here. The whistle blows. And the foul there called against Radovich, so the ball turns over. Simon Fraser. Only 3.34 to the half to find some kind of momentum here that they can carry into the second half. Are they going to come here on the three ball? No. Simon Fraser struggling woefully. I believe they're now one for eight from beyond the arc. Is that, is that correct or am I reading that wrong? We'll get a count in a second here. I thought Wazowski had two threes in this game, but I could be wrong, so we'll take another look. 3.09 remaining. And <laughs> and 
Sub so coming into the game for Biola. It's going to be number 15, Tracera Alexander. Subbing out of the game, number three, Natasha Radovich. Alexander will see if she plug and plays right inside. She's got the ball right now. She will face the basket and drive inside. Simon Fraser making it very tough. Armand Delay with a great job defensively. They're going to call a jump ball, and that one is going to stay uh, with Biola. But great defense from Armand Delay down low. Coming out of the game will be Thurman. Coming into the game, number 25, J.C. Goldsmith. Goldsmith is a, a big body out there at 6'3 from Valleyford, Washington. She's got the basketball right now, the handoff to Kubo. To the top with four on the shot clock. The three ball doesn't go. Chased down by Biola. And streaking to the basket with a reverse. It's not going to go in some traffic underneath the basket. <laughs> Alexander getting called for the foul underneath. There is great hustle in that Biola lineup right now. They are getting to loose balls on the floor. They're getting steals. Doing a lot of good things to build up their lead to six here, but Simon Fraser uh, in the bonus, fifth, fifth foul there, so. With 2.44 left here, Delay steps up. Simon Fraser's offense has been coming from the free throw line to a large extent of late. Uh, but you're taking them any way you can get them, they make them both. Following two made by Killens, so Simon Fraser scraping and clawing to try and get back into this game before the break. They're only trailing by four, but Biola finding ways to maintain their advantage here in a second quarter that showed their hustle. That one knocked out of bounds by Simon Fraser. It'll stay with the Eagles. That'll be Walker inbounding from the baseline. Goes right outside to Goldsmith. Rabi, they call a jump ball, and this time with great hands from Killens underneath. The alternating possession arrow goes in favor of the Red Leafs, and they take over here. Quick hitter, three ball. Killens for the triple! Grace Killens gets the steal, or rather gets her hands in there to force the jump ball, then comes down and early in the shot clock, knocks down the big triple. Simon Fraser needed that one. That was a huge play. Killens on defense and on offense. With two minutes remaining. There's a three hoisted. Oh, it's going to rattle in. That has been the story of the opening half for Biola. They had answers at every turn. And they come back with a big triple here. 29 to 25. Sophia Wazowski, short little baseline jumper. Dulé can't get it. What a great job by Cutler underneath. She uses the wingspan. She corrals it with one hand. She brings it in and she gets it to go. Down to a two-point game here with 120 remaining. Little head fake there by Cabrera. And they can't save it. It'll be Simon Fraser basketball. So the Red Leafs with a chance to tie or take the lead here with a minute and 10 left in this first half of play. Dulé is out there with Killens and three other starters in the Wazowski sisters and Gemma Cutler. That was a beautiful rebound by Cutler. Wazowski thought about the quick hit there, back up top to Dulé for three. Just off the mark there for Armand Dulé. She's getting good looks, and you know it's going to all start to come together for number 21. Shot clock. About, there's about 28 seconds difference in the clock here, so a lot of time here is Walker. She'll drive in on the baseline with Zotsky defending. Oh, and another triple, and that's going to be Kubo from the corner. The Hacienda Heights native with her second triple of the game. This Biola team is, they have executed. As we mentioned, they lost by 10 in overtime in their last game, and they have a 3-3 three three record coming in, but boy, they are playing hard here. 
Sophia Wazowski, Jessica needs to put that up. It's gonna get knocked out of her hands on the way to the basket. 2.4 seconds left, it'll be Simon Fraser basketball, but pull out a quick hitter from the playbook here. All in all, a great half for Biola. Underneath they go, Goldsmith contesting with Gemma Cutler underneath. 1.1 seconds. Sophia quickly, good at the goals! Bingo! Count that, baby. 32 to 29, the sisters in sync. And what a play there to make it a three-point game. Biola played a great first half, though. They take a three-point lead into the locker room. We'll be back in about uh, 12 minutes, 13 minutes time to go through some of the numbers and get you set up for the second half of play. Biola 32, Red Leafs 29 at the half. Howard Samura back with more from the West Gym in the moment. to build bridges. I'm here to promote inclusion. To embrace diversity. To learn from others. I'm here to support my community. I'm here to lift people up. To engage. To listen. I am here to grow. NCAA and its member schools offer nearly half a million college athletes a path to go pro in something other than sports. Learn more at NCAA.org.
here to make a difference. I'm here to create. To innovate. To do research that matters. I am here to continue asking questions. To continue learning. To expand my horizons. I am here to grow. I'm here to get more than a degree. I'm here to explore. To connect. To learn. I am here to forge a new path. To push myself. To set goals and achieve them. I am here to win. I am here to grow. If I lose, I'll respond with respect. If I win, I'll back it up with humility. If I fail, I'll rise up with honor. It's tough for us to put it all on the line. Don't undo my hard work with poor sportsmanship. Respect. It's the name of the game. I'm here to make a difference. I'm here to create. To innovate. To do research that matters. I am here to continue asking questions. To continue learning. To expand my horizons. I am here to grow.
She will uh, rest it free there. Lutz now with a basketball. Back up top they go. Curly at the high post to Rachel Lutz. Apologies if we had some technical difficulties there. Great take inside Shelby this time coming up just shy. Trying to get that one to go. Inside they go, Simon Fraser on fingertips from Rachel Lukes. Armand Delay getting the deflection, corralling it inside to Curley, and she lays it up and in. Natalie Curley with a bucket there. Going to the bench, the veteran head coach Langford pushing the right buttons here. This, uh, this group on the floor is inspired. Inside, though, the drive to the basket there by Radovich, and I think Curley is going to get called for the foul as she came in, ready to play some uh, post defense. So Curley, no, actually, no, what am I saying? Armand DeLay getting called for the foul there. It'll be her second. My apologies. From behind, I guess, because Curley was defending as the Biola player Radovich drove inside. 37-35. But great energy shown by the second group coming in. That one is going to miss, and Curley with a rebound quickly. Luke's. Rachel right down the floor. She goes to Shelby. Oh, off of her foot as she drives to the basket. Lainey Shelby supercharged to three trips down the floor. And she could have had three baskets. But she's playing with great energy out there right now. Rachel Luke's getting a chance to be a, a leading light in this group. It's 
really good for her confidence, and she is uh, playing some great basketball as well. Number 21, of course, we mentioned Rachel Luke's explosive score in high school at College Heights Secondary in Prince George. Here's Walker looking for a lane. Simon Fraser, a presence in the paint. Curly doing some nice work off the bench is number 13. Of course, keeping a family tradition going here at Simon Fraser. And in her uh, brief preseason minutes that I've been able to see, this one uh, clearly her best. She's playing with some nice confidence. Gets the ball at the free throw line back up top. They move it around the horn. Here's Grace. Oh, looking for an open person, almost got stolen. Killens gets it back for three. Off the inside of the iron. Radovich boxing out Curly there to get the rebound. Little head fake inside, and Curly doing a good job defensively. Here's Dulé, thought about pulling up instead from the elbow. Bingo, Armand Dulé knocks the score at 37. And so from a lethargic start here in this third quarter, Simon Fraser playing with an edge and some great energy here as the starters watch on from the bench. That shot hoisted from the corner, though. Walker's going to knock down the triple there. And that's what it's been all about for Biola, finding ways to knock down the big shots tonight. Back to a 40-37 lead for the road team in their black with red trim. Here's Killens. Trying to thread the needle to delay. Knocked out of bounds there by Jordan Rabbi. Coming into the game now for Biola will be Alyssa Kubo, number 12. She's a three-point gunner. And I believe number 15, Tresara Alexander as well. Timeout called on the floor. We'll take a short timeout and be back with more from the West Gym in just a moment. And that horn brings us back to center court here at the West Gym where the Biola Eagles of Los Angeles holding a 40 to 37 lead. And just past the midway mark of this third quarter play. Howard Simura here, thanks for joining us. Aiden Doherty, our producer, our camera operators, Bailey Bjornsson, Sebastian Chu, thanks for joining us from the West Gym. As Simon Fraser attempting to keep this seven game win streak alive, go for number eight. But they're going to have to battle to do it. What a great job there from Rachel Lukes. Rachel Lukes took the inbounds and was the sole creator as she drove in to score that basket. There's a skip outside as the Eagles, ever dangerous, will hoist once more from the corners. They are deadly from those baseline corners. And this time it's going to be Walker knocking down the triple. Laila Walker, the redshirt junior from Fontana, California. Great explosive move. She gets the roll. Laney Shelby, I can tell you this. When you put Rachel Lutz and Laney Shelby in this situation where they need to step up as scorers, you're seeing a different side of these players. And there's Curly doing the same at the other end of the floor. What a great job these players are doing in this configuration of five. They are stepping up because they need to be leaders within this group and maybe that's a little tough sometimes with the great veterans on this simon fraser team but wow that basket luke scored showed what she can do when she's going to take the lead offensively and the same thing with laney shelby and then curly with a great defense shot clock down to nine shelby guarding radovich skips it down underneath 
Killen's in a mismatch against Robbie. The, the hook's going to go. And uh, a couple of baskets in a row here now by Biola, which has become their stock and trade here. Great hesitation. Head fake by Killens off the window. Grace put her defender to sleep and then went right to the glass to lay it up and in. Ooh, and she comes in too hard, too strong, too live at the other end of the floor. And Killens will get called for the foul. That was a great move with the head hit fake and the hesitation to drive to the basket by Grace Killens. And in her desire to get right back down on defense, takes that foul there, her first of the game. Curley with the takeaway. Natalie, Curley have a game. What a terrific outing she's having here at both ends of the floor. Here's Killens, long, deep three. Lutz can't get to the basket. Boxed out well there by Cabrera, number 24. And Walker now back down the floor. Quick hitter off the window, won't go. Oh, and there's Curley once more stepping up with the length. All day long. Yeah, she's long. <laughs> Have some banter with uh, SFU head coach Bruce Langford right here uh, courtside. There's Rabi with a head fake into the paint. Stops, pivots, kicks it back outside. They go to that baseline corner again. Kubo for three, doesn't go. And Lukes rips away the rebound. Rachel surveys the situation, stops at the three-point arc, goes to Killens. Dulé drives and dishes Shelby for three. Bingo Laney, Shelby knocks down the triple. 46 to 45. And the three-pointer partially blocked by Dulé. What a job Simon Fraser is doing. Sometimes all it takes is a, uh, a hockey line change here. Simon Fraser gave up that pass off of the high screen, the easy basket to Thurman. They replaced every player on the floor, and there's just a new energy right now. And well, I'll tell you, that veteran group's getting a nice chance to rest up as well. Underneath they go, and a layup underneath by number five, Thurman. So Biola right back in the lead. This one is going to go right down to the right down to the wire, it looks like. Here is Lukes to Shelby. Laney with a make with a nice move there. Her her quicks there on the turnaround. A great job as I believe number 24 Cabrera will get called for the foul. So Elena Cabrera, and here comes the first unit. Full charge off the bench, the Calvary, the cavalry. And Simon Fraser, that hockey line change definitely made a difference. And with 150 left, there's a new energy here. The number one's back in. Biola getting the stop, though. There is. A great job there from McKenna Gardner. She reaches in with the defense there and gets a stop for Simon Fraser. And there is nothing wrong with saying this. They don't want to be showed up by the second group. And that's the whole point of being a great team. And the old iron sharpening iron adage. This one happening from the bench while they sit and they burn a bit over that. But they still haven't scored. Biola with a chance again to build on their one point lead. 112 remaining third quarter. Howard Samura here with you from the West Gym. Trying to go inside instead. Kubo underneath they go and they manufacture something out of nothing. That play was breaking up. They find a way to get Thurman the basketball and it's a three point lead. Under a minute remaining third quarter of play. Here's Sophia Wazotsky driving baseline kicking Charity. Natalie back to Sophia, back to Jess for three. That one just off the front of the iron. Uh, there's about a 13 second difference in the clocks. So Simon Fraser will get another opportunity here. They certainly would love to get a stop here and come back down and knock this score. Inside they go to Thurman. One bounce, two underneath as she posts up, kicks it back out. 
That's Radovich, who's been so dangerous. Shot clock down to four for Thurman. Back up top, Walker for three. Off the back iron, box out. Oh, and from behind, Cutler gets raked as Thurman falls to the court. No calls there. <laughs> Got a little testy underneath the basket as uh, J.C. Goldsmith, the redshirt freshman, comes in at 6-3. She's been very good in spot minutes for Coach Nakamura. Here comes number 10, uh, Camella Mella. As well, number 15, Tracera Alexander and Jordan Rabi, number 23. So wholesale changes here for the Eagles as they match up against Simon Fraser. Red Leafs will have both Wazowskis on the floor along with Cutler in a backcourt of McKenna Gardner and uh, Natalie Charity, number four, bringing the ball over half court. Wazowski quickly into the post to Cutler, kicks back out. Sophia thought about a three, down to two seconds left. Charity for the jumper is going to go off the back of the goal at the end of the third quarter. What a quarter it was, a bit of plot line there for sure. Simon Fraser makes wholesale changes. They bring in their second unit and they shine, they sparkle, but Simon Fraser still trailing by three, 49-46 at the end of the third quarter. Howard Samura back with more with the fourth quarter in just a moment for the West Gym. Once again, the horn brings us back to the start of a new quarter, the fourth and final quarter here. Simon Fraser, University Red Leafs, riding a seven game win streak coming here, looking to make it eight. But they have run into a scrappy, resourceful Biola Eagles team out of Los Angeles here, coming with a three and three record, but uh, looking like uh, world beaters at times here tonight. Manufacturing stuff, showing great resilience, playing through the matchups. and. What a team they've been, but what a great job defensively there. One on one as Sofia Wazowski steals it from Walker. Then to McKenna, underneath goes Gardner. Oh, and Cutler fouled underneath the basket. So Gemma now with a chance to pull her team to within one with a couple of made free throws here. Cutler, that mobile pose to, has so much athleticism and wingspan and had a school record for blocks. I believe it was with nine earlier this season in the single game. What a job she's done. And right in the middle of the physical fray she will be as she will likely be targeted. We've seen it so much here by Biola because of her ability to get inside. This time getting that second one to roll to make it a one point game. Forty-nine. Oh, it's it's 49-47. My, my apologies. 49 to 47. And here's Biola once again. They just find ways to score the basketball. Simon Fraser, quick hitter. Finding Cutler underneath right back out to Sophia. Here's Charity. Oh, and was looking for Wazowski on the wing. They crossed up their signals there, and it's a turnover. At a time when you got to value the basketball here in this game. You have to value the basketball against this Biola team. They are going to cut you to shreds. Because they find high percentage ways to score it with great consistency. Here's Walker. Out there with their running mate, Jordan Rabi, number 23, who sets that high screen for her. A little handoff to Kubo, but instead, 
Goldsmith back out to Kubo for three. That one off the mark. Here's Sophia. She holds up. Goes back to Gardner. McKenna skips it back out. Jessica Wazotsky pulls it in. The ball comes loose and somehow Biola able to scrap for the ball and they come up with it. They had just don't leave lanes. No easy pass to the basket. Look at McKenna Gardner's defense. She bats that one. Almost got it over a half court. And she gets right back up to get on defense against Walker. There's Goldsmith with the screen. Six on the shot clock for Walker. Sophia guarding her on the baseline. The skip underneath the Kubo. Ooh, and I think maybe it was McKenna coming over the top. Gardner, we'll see what. Indeed, her second of the game. It's going to be Charity and Sophia Wazotsky out of the game right now. Looks like Grace Killens has gone in there as, as well as Rachel Lukes. Lukes guarding in the post. And physical defense there creates the turnover. Jordan Rabi can't control it. And Rachel Luke's nice and physical. And Rachel Luke's looked good with that second unit when they were brought in to start the third quarter, or early in the third quarter, rather. Showing the depth of the Simon Fraser team out runs 10 deep. High low underneath Gemma. She will rattle that one home to make it 51 to 49. Cutler with a nice basket there. 7.37 remaining in the contest. One possession, two-point game. Biola with a lead on the baseline. Reverse, and they get that to go. That is a beautiful play determined by Tracera Alexander. Oh, and Gemma can't squeeze that one. This Biola team just keeps sending out fresh troops, and they just keep finding ways not a team that relies on the three, but they're good at shooting from the baseline corners. They just are a high percentage group. And they're just not gonna let you relax. Ooh, and there is Walker with a tough handle on the dribble. They're gonna call Sophia Wazowski for the foul. And that is her second of the game. 21 on the shot clock as they inbound in the front court. Kubo to Walker. There's Walker in the post. Held on to it a bit too long, and Simon Fraser now with the basketball. Lukes quickly to Killens. Skip underneath, a lot of time on the shot clock still. Here's Killens to Lukes to Gardner. McKenna back up top to Killens for three. Oh, and look at the offensive board from Rachel Lukes underneath. The freshman battling, she puts on the hard hat, goes underneath the basket, and what a tough physical effort there to get the offensive rebound the putback by the rookie. Makes it a two point game. Lukes knocks it free. Starting to see Rachel Lukes feeling the confidence in her game. Two-point contest, 16 on the shot clock, the inbound from Walker. One is gonna go out to Alexander. Alexander still has the basketball. They kick it back out. Here's Walker for three. She threads the needle. You, you watch this Biola team and they just keep coming and they're just, they don't do anything spectacular but you just feel like they're draining a little bit of air out of the room every time down the floor. I don't know how else to put it. Here's a three ball from Killens. Too strong off the back iron into the hands of the Eagles. Grace does a great job. <laughs> she is doing what she needs to do. Oh, and as Sophia Wazowski went into the basket, Rock in a hard place, runs up against a Biola defender, and it's turned over. Here's Walker, five-point lead already. This is a key juncture of the game. 
That's a dagger if it goes, it doesn't. Cutler extends to tip it and it goes into the hands of Lukes. Lukes will get it to Sophia and that's gonna be a turnover. Right to the head coach, Bruce Langford at our broadcast location. That one is a tough turnover at this point of the game. Midway through this fourth quarter of play. You can say it's just a two possession game, but in a game like this, it's not just a two possession game. It's a piece of cheese and they keep tilting the board so it's harder to get to and you just never get there. That's what it's like playing Biola here tonight. Oh, beautiful move underneath. Pulling it off her hip, Walker can't get that to go. McKillens will get called for the foul here. There is a toughness to this Biola team that uh, does nothing but help SFU get ready for the GNAC opener against Western Washington. They are relentless. All right, fans. It's getting tight in the game. I need us to get as loud and, uh, as we boy, can. what a pleasure to watch uh, these two teams go at it here tonight from the West Gym. I'm Howard Samura. Hope you are enjoying the broadcast. We thank all of our crew here, both the minor officials and everybody in our game production crew, Sports Information Director Wilson Wong, and everybody else for first-class treatment here in the West Gym. And look at that Biola flag. The Biola University Eagles flag being hoisted by the crowd. <laughs> There's a bit of Eagles country in here tonight from LA. And they are reveling in the Eagles five point lead. Hoping to join our broadcast in the lovely City of Angels. Great atmosphere, a small but vocal crowd here. Nice uh, selection, obviously, of the hometown local fans, Simon Fraser. But that Biola crew is making some noise here. And, of course, they will take that down to Carver Gym uh, to face the Western Washington Vikings as well as part of their two-game road swing. They'll face Carmen Dolfo's Vikings, who are once again going to be one of the top teams in this GNAC. I want to think Simon Fraser's got a chance to be one of those teams, too, with this great showing. They've had seven straight victories Oh, and a steal by Rachel Lukes. Here comes the freshman once more wearing number 12. Quickly to Shelby. Killens for three. Just can't get the three ball to go. Bat it away. Right back to Lukes. New shot clock. Gardner back up top to number 12. Lukes to Shelby. Killens. A lane and a runner. Too much of an angle there. Cutler with the offensive rebound can't get it to go, but they call a jump ball, and it's going to be Simon Fraser basketball underneath. And was that McKenna battle, McKenna Gardner battling for that ball? And whatever, whatever it was, it was good hustle by Simon Fraser. Cabrera coming out of the game, coming in will be number three, Natasa Radovic. Radovic and Thurman underneath the basket there, providing that uh, paint protection. Here's Thurman to Radovic. Walker leaning into Lukes and pivoting. Baseline. Oh, and look at that. McKenna Gardner. She gets a loose ball. Feeding Shelby down the floor. Laney to the basket. Lays it up and in. Laney Shelby. Like she's lined up for the 100 meters uh, right down the, the, the floor and lays it up and in. And, and I got to tell you, Rachel Lukes and Lady Shelby, if, if they don't work together a lot in practice, I'd be, sur I'd be surprised. They have a connection going down the floor. Top out on the floor, we'll keep it right here. So it's a three point game. Oh, I thought it was a timeout, excuse me. Right back to live action here. 3.37 left. Jessica Wazotsky. Oh, that one going to Lukes. They recover. They do recover. Shelby to the corner. Wazotsky, other side of the floor, drives into the middle. McKenna back up top. Jay Wiz for three off the back iron. Simon Fraser having a nightmarish outing from beyond the arc. A gag when I see that number. I, th I believe it's 4 of 23. It might be 4 of 24 now. How they're hanging in, shooting that kind of number from beyond the arc. 
right to the basket. Luke's just enough defense there, and she gets the loose ball. Rachel Luke's has been superb. A one possession game that has seemed like a hill too steep to climb here for the ladies from Burnaby Mountain as they scrap hard here against Biola. The Eagles have come to play. They brought their own cheering section and they are doing a great job here. McKenna Gardner. Gardner to Luke's back up top. McKenna finds Sh uh, Shelby who's been so impressive off the bench tonight. Gemma puts it on the floor, can't get it to go, a tough break there. But a foul will be called and it's gonna go against Ra Rabi. Jordan Rabi getting called for the foul there and uh, that will be her second of the game. It'll send Cutler to the free throw line with 2.35 remaining. Shelby and Lukes along with Gardner Jess Wazowski and Gemma Cutler. It's Walker and it's uh, Camilla Mella number 10 along with. And she makes the second. Radovich number three out there as well as Walker. And Thurman as well. They've been Steady all game long as head coach Alan Nakamura calling a timeout here with 2.26 remaining. His team with the basketball leading by two. We'll keep it right here. Okay, fans, there are two minutes left in the game, which can only mean one thing. Alan Nakamura in his ninth season. His assistant coaches Savannah Madrid Andrews, Gamel Smalley, and Tanita Rivera. Iola, I've been on the campus before, La Mirada, California. Fifty-six to fifty-four. It's been that kind of a night. We got to give you the number from three-point arc for Simon Fraser. They are four of twenty-four from the three-point arc. Four of twenty-four. They're shooting sixteen point seven percent from three-point range thus far tonight and are only trailing by two in the three-point three point basket being a huge part of their all arsenal. We're looking at the turnovers now, Simon Fraser, 16 turnovers, Biola with 27 turnovers. So that stat looked tilted in uh, Biola's favor, but Simon Fraser has actually outscored Biola 18 to nine in points off turnovers. Points in the paint, Biola with that 32-26 advantage. Leading scorers, Layla Walker with 13, Layla Walker with 13, Just Thurman with 12 to lead the uh, Biola Eagles. 12 apiece for Gemma Cutler and, so and Jessica Wazowski, the leading scorers for Simon Fraser. Ooh, and boy, that was a quick foul there. Rachel just leaned in over Walker and boom, the whistle blew and she gets called for the foul. Two twenty-four remaining, a two-point lead and the basketball for the visitors. Radovich, that hook has not failed her all night. Unblockable. It's coming from below her hip. She doesn't even have to be facing the basket or looking up at it. She just goes to it from muscle memory. And you saw the effect there. And a steal as they went inside to Cutler. So now it is a four point game and Simon Fraser's gotta get a stopper. It's gonna be at least a two, like a six point lead. So with 1.49 remaining, and Biola content to milk the clock here a bit as Walker tries to reverse, Gardner's gonna foul underneath. And that's gonna be two free throws coming up for this methodical Biola Eagles squad. Gardner comes out of the game. Grace Killens will come in as Laila Walker steps up to the free throw line. I wasn't expecting to see the Biola flag being hoisted in the SFU West gym here tonight, but we've seen, we've seen it. 
So it's made the trip up from La Mirada, California, as Walker nails the free throw there, making it a five-point game. She goes one of two. Lukes to Jess Wazowski. Back to Killens. Oh, the three-point. Cold spell continues. Shelby underneath. Wazowski. Oh, she knocks one down. Just Wazowski with a big three there with 1.15 remaining. Makes it a two-point game. That makes it 59 to 57. A new life here for Simon Fraser who need a stop more than they need anything right now in terms of wanting to preserve this uh, winning streak. Walker gets a Radovich screen. Just keeps pounding the basketball. Four on the shot clock. Radovich has to make a move. Simon Fraser can't foul here. Oh, and they score the basketball. And they make it 61 to 57. That is what they have done all night long. Thurman, as the shot clock ticks down, down to about uh, one or two, gets a lay-in. SFU with a timeout. 43.2 seconds left, and it is a four-point lead. That is a bit of a pickle. Certainly not uh, not the end of the end of the day here for Simon Fraser. Plenty of time for them to make something happen. But talk about it's really funny when you look at the margin of a lead of the of the team and how they protect it. And how it doesn't have to be a 12-point cushion to feel good about yourself coming down the stress drive of a basketball game. This is a textbook example of being dialed in and having some self-belief. The Biola Eagles have led most of the way with a two-possession a two lead. And they've made it seem like an impenetrable force. There's about a 13 second difference on the clocks here as Simon Fraser needs to make something happen. Jess Wiz for three goes over the goal. That's a tough one. And it's going to go into the hands of Viola. The shot clock is now turned off. Simon Fraser is going to have to foul here. And with 16.3 seconds left in this game. Simon Fraser, five for 26, I believe, from three-point range tonight. Not their usual. I think it's a combination of them just uh, dig it in after some heavy travel, a heavy, heavy preseason. Now this is their 11th preseason game. It's, it's, it's Biola's seventh. Simon Fraser, of course, coming in with that seven-game winning streak. You know what, just mentally, sometimes you relax and uh, the one team that wasn't going to let him do it tonight were the Biola Eagles, and you've seen what they've done from start to finish. And right now, this six-point lead looks like a 15-point lead, the way this game has unfolded down the stretch drive of the second half of play. We'll stick with you here, the final seconds. Simon Fraser getting back to... Next time we join you, I believe it's uh, from the West Gym. It's going to be for GNAC play in the new year. Simon Fraser, of course, will start their conference schedule just before Christmas when they face Western Washington. Western Washington, of course, their travel partner in the GNA. It's been an eye-opener on many levels, and uh, if you want to know what this game has given to head coach Bruce Langford in terms of perspective, it's where Rachel Lukes is in terms of her development right now. She is out here as one of the five to finish this game. There's a Killens three with 13.8. 63-60 for Biola and the timeout called. And just like that, it's a one possession game. But it's been, it's been Simon Fraser on any night. This, this could be their worst three point shooting uh, effort of the entire season. And it's a three-point game. And you look at that and you, you think, what if, you know? But I'm telling you, this 
This is going to take, you know, gonna, if they got a bag, they got to reach deep, 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 right to the, to maybe put their ear to the ground, reaching into the bag to pull out what they can, because this won't be easy. Biola has just not made mistakes. Even though Biola's had so many turnovers in this game, they've had 27 turnovers compared to only 16 by Simon Fraser. And the Red Leafs doubling up the Eagles in terms of points off a turnover. So this game defines some description. But I think the key thing here today has been Biola's ability to go into the paint and score buckets despite supposed size mismatches underneath, just able to get them. And when you look at what uh, what Radovich, Thurman, those two in particular, and Walker at the lead guard spot have been able to do for this team, it's been huge. All three of those players now on the floor. Grace coming up hard, killing, she'll foul. And Camilla Mella. getting fouled there. <clears throat> that will send her to the free throw line with a chance to make this a two possession game. These are huge free throws. One make makes it tough. If she misses them both from Simon Fraser's perspective, the door remains open for the basketball gods here tonight. But she is gonna hit the first. It'll be interesting to talk to Bruce Langford after this game, get his thoughts on a lot of aspects of this contest. Right now, 65 to 60, another timeout called, only 12.5 seconds left. The ease with which they came out of the timeout, got the ball to Killens deep and watched that three just swish through the basket, just makes you ponder the numbers within that three-point shooting statistic tonight. And I'm not sure what the exact three-point shooting number is right now, but uh, whatever it is, uh, it is... <laughs> we have an ace crew here at the table, and we can tell you in a second what that is. Thank you very much, and we will let you know that Simon Fraser uh, is shooting 6 of 28. Uh, a blazing 21.4% from beyond the arc, so that is tough sledding. Leading scorer in the game is Leila Walker with 16, 14 for Thurman, 15 for Jessica Wazowski, 12 for Cutler, and 10 for Grace Gillins. There's a Sophia three, she knocks it down with 6.4. 65 to 63 with 6.4 and Coach Nakamura calling for time on the other side. They'll talk things over. This is just one of those games where if Simon Fraser doesn't prevail, you just say to yourself, man, on some nights the basketball gods just are not with you. But at the same time, uh, no way can you take away from the incredible 39 minute, 34.6 second or 33.6 second performance of the Biola Eagles. They have weathered everything and just managed to play the ultimate game of survival against the Red Leafs team that's won seven straight and would normally have close to double the amount of triples they have in the game right now. 5.3 seconds left. Walker fouled by Lukes. It'll be her third and Walker with a chance here. Walker, three of four from the free throw line today. And I'm sure it's not the only one, but it's, it's the one that's in front of me right now personally. Uh, where you're able to protect that lead. And we were talking pretty much in the same tone about Simon Fraser attempting to overtake Biola four or five minutes ago of game clock time. It's been that kind of a game. 
And it remains that way with 5.3 seconds left. The lead now at four. If they've had to make free throws, they've made them. If they've had to answer a Simon three, they've done it. Viola. So here we go with 5.3 left. Rachel Lukes will inbound. Killens with a deep three. That one from Coquitlam. Unable to find the range there, and that, ooh, is still one-tenth of a second left, and they're going to call a foul? <laughs> Should have let this one go. But they will go through the paces here. And they will shoot free throws with a tenth of a second left. That's going to be uh, Thurman at the free throw line. Red Leaf basketball fans, go on the site. Watch, uh, watch Biola track their progress from time to time over the course of the season. As we say, they're 3-3. Three and three. They lost in overtime, I believe, heading into this game. They lost in t by 10 in overtime. But they certainly uh, are a resilient group, and they are going to come through with a 69-63 victory. Snapping Simon Fraser's seven game win streak, but in no way taking away from the incredible preseason the Red Leafs enjoyed here. They will finish the preseason at seven and four. And what a job they did. I believe they still have one preseason game after they open league play, but this main preseason stretch has been an amazing one for Simon Fraser. It has brought this team together at the start of November after they lost three straight here at the CCAA Nancy AA Division II Challenge. You wondered if they were going to find the pieces, and they certainly have put them all together in tremendous fashion. And a lot to look forward to here in this 2023-24 uh, GNAC season from the Simon Fraser Red Leafs. So as we get set to bid you farewell for this exhibition season, our thanks to producer Aiden Doherty, to our camera operators Bailey Bjornsson and Sebastian Chu. Thank you so much for everything. Everybody here as well on the minor officials table, our sports information director Wilson Wong, everybody associated with Red Leaf Athletics, Thank you very much for an exciting preseason of women's basketball here. The Simon Fraser Red Leafs will huddle and they will be back for the start of conference play, determined to make their mark once again as one of the top teams in the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. For everybody from Burnaby Mountain, British Columbia, I'm Howard Samura bidding you farewell and once again to be back with more Simon Fraser Red Leafs women's basketball in 2024. Our best to your families. Enjoy your holidays and... Uh, Celebrate responsibly. We will be back with you in 2024.